hi welcome to my channel today we are going to configure nfs multipathing with vmware and open media vault so let's get started configure first the open media vault let's log in After log into the Open Media Vault, uh, first we should change the admin user pass. Before this Open Media Vault, let's give our password. And after that, it is always better to update all the packages. Let's upgrade them all. We need to upgrade the system because uh, sometimes it could give us uh, error, minor or major. Um, now we can see that our upgradation is done. To configure multipathing, we need at least two LAN card for NFS communication at both side at Open Media Vault and at uh, VMware server also. Let's configure first the network interfaces. Here we can see that Open Media Vault, this is management interface. 192.160.100 is the IP address of the uh, management interface. We logged in with this IP address. Let's configure another two IP. Ls33 static. Let's say ten dot hundred. And another one. 11.100 we can configure all these network interfaces same uh, subnet but it is recommended to make it at different subnet let's click apply Now if we check from the open media vault, here are three interfaces 0.100, 10.100 and 11.100. So we will use 10.100 and 11.100 as our NFS um, communication path. Let's check our disks, how many disks we have or how many partition. Here we have SDA and SDB2 hard drive. Let's create the file system. DBSD1 is mounted. We need to create the data partition or for the NFS1. This is NFS data. Our file system, we can choose different, different file system here, but we are choosing standard ext4. Okay. The file system creation has been completed successfully. Now we can mount. Let's click apply. Now let's create a shared folder. Name 
interface data this is the device let's give the permission to everyone read write you should give appropriate permission but we are giving here full permission for the ease of configuration now okay now let's click nfs we have to enable the service Let's click share. We have to add the share. NFS data, client. Run dot zero slash twenty four. Privilege read write, and we need to put some extra option here for the root mount. Here we have to mention subtree check no root squash is mandatory here to configure with VMware and we have to mention both subnet and again now 11 read write extra options here and save again now click apply now we can see that our um, NFS data folder or NFS data export is uh, exported to two subnet 192.168.10 and 11 subnet we need to configure our ESXi with this subnet also So we are done at the open media world part if you check now that the nfs data is exported to both ip or both subnet now our basic mount and everything service started let's log into vmware now Here we have three LAN card, one for the management and another two for the NFS multipath. Let's uh, first create two virtual switch. VMNIC one sorry VMNIC two. Now let's create two port group. And we are adding with the virtual switch NFS one NFS path two with VNFS two with the second switch. Now let's create the VM kernel interface. Port group will be NFS P1, IPv4 only and static. Let's give IP address 10.50 for say.
sorry, solid mask. Okay, let's create add another VM kernel lake for the path to static. Eleven dot fifty Okay. So we have added two virtual switch and we have added two port group with two different virtual switch and we have added two VM kernel leak with two different sublet IP address. Now Let's check the VMware can communicate with the NFS server. Let's log into the shell of VMware server. Now let's hit ping 10.100. It is pinging from the 10 subnet and we should get ping of 11 subnet also. That means from VMware to the NFS server, we have both IPS connectivity. Now let's mount the store, new data store, mount NFS data store, name NFS store, NFS server 192.168.10.100. One nine two one six eight eleven dot hundred NFS share NFS data username root and the password of the NFS server next and finish. Now we can see that our NFS folder appears here as the new NFS store data store. We can open the data store. We can browse. This is our new data store. Now let's check the NFS data store is mounted with two IP address. Now we can run this ESXCLI command, ESXCLI storage NFS v41 list. Here we can see that NFS store is being accessed with two different IP addresses. And this is the share. We can also check from the Open Media Vault that our uh, NFS server is being mounted from the VMware with both IP addresses. We can see here that our NFS server is being accessed from the 10.50 and 11.50. This is uh, the both uh, IP address of ESX server. Let's create a virtual machine. New virtual machine. Test one. Linux. Ubuntu and we will put this virtual machine to NFS store next thin provision we are doing this only for testing the multipathing Okay, now we can uh, start the virtual machine. We will see that uh, 
during the installation we will uh, disable a LAN card and we will see that the installation still continues now if you go to the open media vault and let's make one interface down we already down one link or one path from the VMware we can see that we can proceed with the installation that means our another path is active and it is working fine we can see still we have only one path and We can see only we're accessing from the 11.50 IP. So one path is active now and it is working still. So we have path failover. Our virtual machine installation is continuing. So we have successfully configured Open Media Vault NFS multipathing from the VMware ESXi 6.7. So thank you. If you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.